Hey guys, it's Nadine and I was asked how I made my little envelopes uh, for the journaling card swap hosted by Rashida. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to share with you all exactly how I made this, which I will tell you is really rather simple because I am by no means a genius and I am all about quick and simple and um, yeah, and, and getting the results that I want. So. Let me show you guys. This would be the final product. It's not even taped together yet, but um, this is it. Um, let me tell you what you need first. <clears throat> so first you're gonna need um, an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, whatever color you wanna use. I'm just using this um, horrible yellow <laughs> color cardstock that I got a lot of <coughs> for free. <coughs> So I use a lot of this for like when I'm making my templates um, for stuff because I just don't love the color of it. Um, so you need that. You're going to need a scoreboard and I'm going to use my Martha Stewart mini scoreboard. You're going to need a paper trimmer, a corner rounder, a circle punch, a pair of scissors. And I use this little um, tool, which I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called, the exact name of it is, but um, it has two little balls on the sides of it and you can use it to um, on your scoreboard or you can use it when you're making flowers and kind of roll it on your flowers to, give, um, to make your flowers turn up a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, um, this tool as well. And I'll show you what you're gonna do with that, which is kind of funny. Um, so first things first, um, let me show you my drawing of what I was coming up with. So this is my like rough sketch of it. And this was actually the very first one that I made, which looks really ridiculous and terrible. <laughs> but um, this was my sample. <clears throat> oh, and another thing is you're going to need some double sided sticky tape. Um, because I found that if you use glue, um, liquid adhesive, it, your envelope comes apart so <clears throat> and the one that I'm using is this H-E-I-K-O tape it's actually a Japanese tape um, and it's actually used by drafting people um, that my twinster Chelsea sent me because um, yeah because she likes it and I subsequently like it's very strong and it comes in different um, widths so first things first what I want to do is I'm going to pull out the arm for this and I want to cut my paper um, down to the very first cut I'm going to make is four and three quarters. So I'm going to turn my paper this way. I'm going to put it in my cutter, my trimmer, and I'm going to measure it up to the four and three quarters. Make sure that it's flush against the guide and then go ahead and cut it. <clears throat> so that's the very first cut. Then I'm going to turn the paper sideways and I'm going to cut this down and I want it to be seven inches. So I'm going to measure it up, make sure that it's flush again with my guide, and then cut off. Now keep this extra strip right here, okay? And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that in a little bit. So now I can put my trimmer on the side because <clears throat> I'm done with it for now. Then I'm going to take my scoreboard and I want to score. And this is where this little instrument or this little um, tool comes into play. I use the bigger side. The reason why I don't love i love this scoreboard don't get me wrong i love the size and how thin it is but i tend to find i i find that martha stewart scoring um what do you call it these things right here this tends to cut my paper a lot of times i might just i might very well just be pressing down too hard but um i know i never have that problem with this tool so I just put my paper on the scoreboard. The very first score I want to score is at two inches, and then I want to do it again at five inches. And this will give me a little less than three inches, and then a little less than four inches. <clears throat> um, and then I want to turn it sideways like this again. And I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch, okay? <clears throat> now, let me show you something and I'm just going to use my highlighter to mark something. So this area right here and this area right here, we're going to cut off. So I'm just going to take my scissors and these are my favorite scissors. They have um, 
they're very comfortable they have a great grip and, and they're good if, especially if you're cutting a lot fussy cutting and um, your hands hurt so if those of you who have carpal tunnel you might want to use this this is actually a quilting scissors um, quilting shears <clears throat> but I use it for crafting so again I'm gonna take this and I'm going to cut off these two the left and the right flap here so taking it onto my score line and just kind of cutting okay and now you can be you know I um I'm not a stickler for like exactness uh, I have three kids I don't have time to be exact with everything <laughs> um, so you could always put this through your your paper trimmer again and cut it off if you need it to be like perfect <clears throat> Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. And this is pretty much your pocket. What you're going to do now is you're going to fold the score lines over. And then I'm going to get my bone folder, which, um, yeah, you guys can do a bone folder or whatever. you. Sometimes I just use my nail, no biggie. And I'm just going to fold over on the score lines and then use my bone folder to sharpen the edges. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to just cut off or round the corners of this thing now you can pretty much leave it like this and fold this flap up and here is your pocket I took my pocket down a little bit um, so all I did was I took a sliver off of the already rounded corner just to give it a little bit of an angled thing and it gives it a funny little edge but that's okay um, so either way you can do whatever you want this is this is what I did and then just fold it up and then there's your pocket <clears throat> okay, now let me show you something really quickly. I'm going to use my circle punch to make the little um, hole here so that way you can easily pour, pull out whatever um, tab or card you have in here. But <clears throat> I wanted to make sure that my circle or my half circle uh, my, was pretty much in the middle. So this is when I'm coming back to this thing, okay? So this is the scrap paper that I used. What I did was I just took it down to three inches. I'm going to cut it. So now this is three inches, which means three inches on this. Exactly. Okay. Then I'm going to take my circle punch and I'm going to estimate. Okay. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that mm, this kind of looks like this looks like half, you know, an even kind of thing. Now again. If I'm a little bit off, it's not a big deal to me. So then there you have it. Now this is going to serve as my template, okay? So I'm going to put it on here, line it up both edges, and I'm like, yeah, that looks great. I like it. And I'm going to grab myself a little pencil, and I'm just going to trace out this little um, notch that I made with my circle punch. Why do you say, why should I do that? Because my circle punch that I had isn't slim enough to um, punch out the half circle even if I were to hold it like this so by using that um, guide now all I'm doing is I'm reopening up my um, what do you call it opening up my little envelope here and I'm just gonna use the guide the pencil guide that I just did put it in my punch line it up and punch it same thing on this side I have a little smidge which is just enough for me to figure out where I need to go put it back in my punch punch it out and then when you fold it up, there you have it. It's It lines up just perfectly. Um, because as you can see, the very first time I did it, um, where did that sample go? Here it is. <laughs> this is what happens when, when you don't do, use the template and you're just you know trying to wing it. Um, it's totally off and it's totally retarded looking. So <clears throat> then all I'm going to do is take my tape. I'm going to put tape on one side here and then on the bottom here and that is going to seal the deal so let me just eyeball this bad boy put it here on the edge now mind you this is just for this video I mean I don't have to be precise like I said I'm not anal um, when it comes to this I just want to get it done and I want to get it done quickly with um, the best results that I can possibly get. So, um, put my double-sided tape on my card and take off the two, the backing of the double-sided tape. And ta-da, here you have it. This is the little envelope that I made 
for my journaling swap hosted by Rashida. Now, here's the thing. The Project Life pockets are three by four inches and just so happens, which was a total accident on my part, um, this pocket is little less than three by four. Um, might be like an eighth of an inch short of three and an eighth of an eighth of an inch short of four. That was completely by accident, which turned out to be great because it fits nicely in your pocket life, um, project life pockets, um, and it's not snug. So, I'm sharing with you guys how I made this. I hope this is helpful. I had so many questions on how I did it. Um, yeah, this is my pocket. If you have any questions, feel free to message me or comment in the box below. Um, and I will get back to you. Alrighty, guys. Take care. Bye.